Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. I am Jason Steele. Robert Benfer. Chris Alex. So, how was everyone's weekend? <laughs> Mine was good. I had my uh, I had my little event in Austin. Yeah. Yeah, how yeah. did that go? Yeah, I had a pretty good turnout. Um, about, uh, I guess overall, about 20 fans showed up. That's which was good. nice. Um, was it was it twenty twenty of like our fans or twenty like including for the uh, the the uh, the band man was it man uh, <laughs> well most most <laughs> twenty of, people showed up for the band yeah well, that's, uh, I didn't know well, well, most of, well everybody showed up there for me because I'm the one that promoted it but yeah so there were a few there were a few people there who uh, who listened to Chaos Pony so they they knew who you were in fact the first person that showed up uh, was wearing a Charlie the Unicorn T shirt oh is that the uh, the picture that you tweeted out. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That guy was pretty cool. Thanks um, for uh, thanks, thanks, dude, for representing. Yeah. So that that, that was pretty nice. Uh, I didn't realize that the restaurant was going to be like a fancy restaurant. What? So I mean, what? I was dressed nice because I'm always dressed nice, but mm-hmm. uh, but it I looks like the, everything was outside though. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was the restaurant, but then like out in the back, they had like a stage and all that, and that's where the the band played. Yeah. That's another thing I didn't realize. I didn't know it was going to be outside, so I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt. I'm wearing like two layers of clothing, and the the sun's out, and it's Texas weather. Um, and I get there when I showed up. Not only was it hot, I was uncomfortable, but uh, there were already like six fans there. I was actually three minutes late to the uh, to the event. I was three oh minutes God. late to my own event, so there were six, six fans there waiting for me. So I I immediately had to like sign autographs and take pictures and all that. So you and couldn't was, even was, you couldn't even get a chance to to get there and unwind a little bit before you 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 got there and you were on right there. No, I, I had to drive through uh, Austin traffic, which was horrible because of South by Southwest. Oh, I can imagine. So, yeah. yeah, so I, I was I was all like hot and sweaty and like kind of I still in a bad mood, and, uh, and now I have to act I have to show up and act happy like hey, Robert Benfer. I don't know. I but, think uh, I think people kind of expect you to act like an asshole. So yeah. I, that's good. That's your that's your uh, internet it's persona, were, Robert. It's good. Good they were prepared. Yeah, I threw some vodka in some kid's eye. I told him <laughs> to give me another one. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So what, what um, was the? You said the restaurant ended up being a a fancy restaurant. Yeah, the was... restaurant ended up being fancier than I thought it would be. So like, all my fans would show up in like blue jeans and like <laughs> Charlie T-shirts and stuff. The menu is all uh, twenty five yeah, so... dollars and up. Yeah, they were. I bought this. Uh, I bought this like uh, expensive, expensive ribs, and uh, I bought the Charlie guy. I bought the guy who was wearing the Charlie T-shirt. He was mm-hmm. the last one to leave, so he hung out with me and Stephen yeah. for a while. Um, and I bought him some food. I bought him some potato skins, and he ate it. And as I paid for the potato skins, and as soon as he finished the potato skins, he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go." And he left. <laughs> He was like, just waiting for you to buy some potato skins for him, they're, Robert. They were like twelve dollar uh, fried potato skins. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, thanks for the food. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, funny thing, thing that would happen is, um, I imagined that all my fans would show up and they would actually see the show. They would see my friends' band perform and we would hang out. Mm-hmm. But what would happen is these fans would show up just to get a picture with me and get an autograph, and they'd hang out for about ten minutes, and they and then they and then once they got their picture and autograph, they would leave. So, throughout the, uh, so 20, in all, 20 people showed up, but throughout the three hours, so, there would only be six fans there at a time. So, it didn't look like a good turnout, but, but a lot of people did show up. They just wanted to get pictures with me and, uh, and autographs and leave. But, uh, so, it was, it was, it was still fun. How That's was good. the, uh, how was the band? The band was good. I like those guys. Did they have a good turnout? Yeah, they had a pretty good turnout. What kind of what kind of music do they play? Rock, uh, rock and roll. I used them in my my. I used them in my my uh, first feature. But um, yeah, we're we're planning on doing this again next year, and uh, I'm gonna promote it earlier so that way I'm gonna promote promote it earlier before people have plans for spring break. So maybe you should have have it in like the the parking lot of McDonald's. Yeah, there there you go. My my fan base will probably already be there. (laughs) <laughs> That's probably where, uh, and this way, this way people can afford to eat too. Yeah, <laughs> no twelve dollar potato skins. 
<laughs> but it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun hanging out, yeah. you know, with my fan base. Uh, and the age medium was uh, was higher than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm worried because I, I want to do a, a meet up in Orlando, but I, the only thing I'm worried about is that it's going to be all like twelve year old <laughs> girls who showed up, and then like when Fred did his like then, hot topic yeah, meet up, exactly, and then, then it'll look really <laughs> awkward. Uh, that was a little awkward. There were a few like fifteen seven year olds seven year olds that showed up, but there were uh, there were also plenty of uh, you uh, said seven people. I mean, 17 year olds. Oh, 17, 15, so 17 year olds. <laughs> 15, 17 year olds that showed up, but there were also quite a we few people t- my age that showed up. So Ooh. the age, it wasn't really that bad. We'll have to have our meetup at Chuck E. Cheese's. So uh, there was yeah. this. Christopher <laughs> rolling around in the ball pit. <laughs> I'll dominate that ball pit. I don't care. This one kid uh, made his mom drive him four hours just to come and see me for 20 Holy minutes. Oh my God. Seriously. <laughs> It was his mom no standing there, like for waiting for him the whole time, or pretty much she would uh, she off she would be off by the side, keeping her eye on <laughs> you. It's like, who is this guy? <laughs> Who's this internet guy? It was weird. It was weird because he would like he would he would come to me. He'd be like, hey, can you sign this? And he'd like run off to the side. And I'd be like, where the hell did that kid go? <laughs> and then he'd come back like twenty minutes later. Hey, Knox, can, can you get a picture like doing this? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he'd run off again. I'd be like, where was that kid going? <laughs> Why did he come? Here? And he would come back again. He'd be like, "Hey, can, I got. Can you sign your name on this uh, on this napkin for me, for my friend?" I'm like, "Okay." He'd run off again, and finally he left for good. You should, you should check eBay. See if he's selling all the stuff that uh, that you <laughs> yeah. signed for him. Yeah. Did, did he show up each time wearing a different costume? Like yeah, he did. He was top yeah, hat. He, he showed up as a in a sombrero and a as a. As a yeah. I'm not the same guy. As a mariachi, and then mariachi he'd player, leave yeah. and come back as a as a firefighter. <laughs> it's like you're not fooling anyone, kid. I know this is you. <laughs> yeah. 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 There I'm was kinda... this there was this uh one seven year old kid there. But uh he showed up like before the show and he just wanted an autograph and then I guess his father went in the leave, so he left like after ten <laughs> minutes. So they weren't even like there for the show. They left before the show even started. Yeah. yeah. I could only I could only imagine what, you know, fans like like the 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 late age level of our fans, you're probably younger, so I can only imagine what their parents think. When they uh, when the, when their kid says, "Can you take me to uh, to see the uh, the blue clay guy? Uh, the guy who does all the blue clay people, or the guy who does all the church?" Because they can only imagine, like, oh, "Come on, why don't you why don't you follow someone who's on TV or or the movies or something?" I don't know. The kid. I mean, when I, when I was younger, there was this uh, local TV station, and they would play like Saturday morning cartoons, but they did like their own promo shots, and it was this guy with wacky sunglasses and this giant like colorful shirt polka dot shirt or something and it was just it's thinking back on it this is like totally insanely lame but i i was when i was like five or something i was such a fan of this guy who did these wacky like promo shots for for the saturday morning cartoons and there was an event where he was going to be at and i remember going and i have like an autograph from this guy (laughs) it's like the autograph is like this it's the picture is like this guy in this wacky polka dot shirt with these sunglasses holding like one of those horns like honk honk sort of thing (laughs) just crazy thing and i got his signature on it and i'm like i i found it like a a couple years ago and i was like why did i get this guy's signature (laughs) what what do you think what do you think this guy's doing now i have no idea but (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, so I can I can totally see like you know so just a kid being a fan of someone and then having their parents drive them all the way out to some random event and just just getting the autograph <laughs> and leaving because I I did the same thing as a kid. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. They're probably gonna be thinking the same thing fifteen years from now. Like, why did <laughs> Who the I... hell was that? <laughs> How did we drive all that way to see these guys? Another another weird thing that a couple of people did was that would they would show up. And I would see them come in, and I could tell they were fans of mine because they were the you know the way they dressed. <laughs> but they would like they would go off. I've to got the side. really low class fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they they just they just looked uh, you know they looked they looked like they weren't there for a rock concert. Yeah, <laughs> well, they didn't look like they were dressed for the restaurant. Is what I'm saying. Oh, oh, at the like, restaurant. Oh, the fancy yeah. restaurant. Yeah, and they would like go off to the side. I'd be like, okay, well, I guess they aren't there for me. Um, well, they're probably nervous. And they would stay there for like 30 minutes to an hour, and then eventually I guess they would work up the nerve to come and talk to me and have me sign their uh, their CDs, which was kind of weird. 
<laughs> and uh, a few people did that. Like they would, they they sat there for like the whole show, and then afterwards they finally came up to me. It's it's kind of weird, isn't it, when when people are, uh, or because uh, you know you you do you do videos on the internet. Well, it's it's, a, it's I mean you're... I mean like it was at uh, Chris. You probably remember this at RaffleCon. There was there was all these people who would come up and say, "Hey, my friend wants to talk to you," but they're too right. nervous. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh hey yeah, a, a friend of mine <laughs> loves your stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, you're we're we're not on the same level as like like movie stars and everything like that. No, but no, no. I we guess are, we are way. <laughs> so there's way yeah, not on way the same below. level. That, that's that's a very kind way to put it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be kind, you're but there, but a... there is a level though. There there is a level difference because you know there are a lot of people that 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 see the stuff online and everything. So there is there is a level. Granted, yeah, it's it isn't. A, it's it's a huge difference between between what what we do and what you know movie stars on the on the silver screen do but you know it's just there is there is a there is a level to where i can understand where people would be nervous to um you know to, to come up but uh you know we're not gonna we're not gonna bite you well robert or maybe will. robert yeah. yeah robert has <laughs> yeah yeah well, that, that's robert how i was known. that's how i was when i met you jason remember i had to get somebody else to come you know introduce <laughs> me to you you know when we first met yeah yeah. Robert, was this was this your first? Um, I hired. First I hired event? Yeah, I went to your neighbor and I was like, "Hey, I, I, I really like this. He, you know, he, I really like this. He's my friend. We had a podcast together, and yeah, I was wondering if you can like introduce me to him because I'm kind of shy. And I, I, he's really cool. I, 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 I'm meeting him in real life now. I don't know what to say. That's kind of awkward. But yeah, this was my first event. This is the first time I've done something like this, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it next year at South by Southwest. You're also doing it in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, Playlist <laughs> live. Playlist live. Playlist live. March, March finally, 26th through 27th. They finally, Orlando, uh, Florida. They finally put us on the uh, the schedule there. Yeah. <laughs> At, uh, like Sunday. 9 in the morning. <laughs> Before yeah, anyone so else gets there. If you go into Playlist Live, make sure to show up at 9.15 a.m. If you are if if you are at playlist live and you want to meet up at it because we're, we're going to be there the whole time Saturday and Sunday so yeah. just just like if you're actually there and you want to meet up just tweet just tweet me or, or Robert me. or Chris and and we'll 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 find you we'll find you <laughs> we'll and uh, <laughs> yeah. that sounded kind of kind of creepy <laughs> like we're looking for people to murder I'll be in, I'll live. be in the men's room come you find what, me in the men's room you know what's kind of embarrassing what's that. Is that you know Jackie? Jackie's a huge fan of uh, Dave Days and all these YouTube people that I don't really care for. So I'm gonna. She wants me to get all of these people's autographs. So I'm gonna have to walk around. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Who do you want me just, to make this out to? Can you just, make it just out to Jackie? Jackie? They were all assholes and refused to sign anything. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna have to walk up to I Justine and be like, "Hey, can I have your oh, no, autograph?" Not, not I Justine. Yeah. You want you be Wait, honest. You want her signature for yourself. I want her on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. So is that? <laughs> she doesn't have an artistic bone in her body or a creative bone. Until she meets you. <laughs> yeah. Went went for the easy joke. Yeah. I'm so surprised nobody else took. Nah, so, I thought um, Robert was leading me to it. Nah, yeah, uh, nah. What are we are like on the top? Were we like 52 comedy? Yeah, 52 yeah we're, we're comedy going. We're podcast. getting up there. We were. We're, we're on, on the new top, and notable. We're on the top 50 <laughs> comedy podcasts or something like on that. On iTunes, yeah. We're this. This is. This is top fifty material. You know, if we're doing that uh, that other event, like our our own event. Yeah, yeah I do. To, I do want to do a uh, an event, uh, a meetup we, of some sort in Orlando. Are we Are we thinking of just just extending our stay and just like staying at the hotel that playlist live is going to be at a little bit longer and to separate ourselves? Or are we actually going to try um, to find another place? I don't know. We might do something because we're not we're not actually staying at the hotel, so that's that's a little difficult to do that. But we oh, might but the, yeah. we might do some sort of meetup in the area those days, or maybe just on another day entirely. I don't know. We can meet at Downtown Disney. That's right down the if street. If anyone's actually the, uh, listening to this and they're in Orlando and they do want to meet, um, send us an email or something so we know if there's actually anyone out there who's interested. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure out. We got to figure out. I don't know how many Orlando fans we have. Oh yeah, I, I love my fan base. Um, 
they had a bar at the restaurant. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm gonna. Anybody want any drinks? You know, it's on me. And they're like, uh, yeah, I'll get a water. <laughs> like this, that's a it's a free drink. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm gonna get you a free drink. No, I'll just get a water. Yeah, I'll just get a water. Maybe put a lemon in it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. How come? How come you never base. offered to uh, buy buy a drink for me, Robert? Because Jason does it for me. <laughs> Jason does it for you. <laughs> when I'm in Orlando, he pays for a lot of stuff. But when you when you when you come to Orlando, you know you know what we're gonna do. What? Five guys. Yeah. I still have not been there. Wait, Jason, we're gonna go to Five Guys. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, you can just you, uh, eat a. You can go grab something else and bring it over to Five Guys. There's no way that it's that good. I I I, I like my burgers, and I can tell you right now, it's it's uh, pretty good. We have a we have a whole comedy bit around it. We might as well go to the place. Yeah, we might as well. Get, we, we have to do it in the, name the of place comedy. a lot. <laughs> we might as well at least go. I tell you what, Jason. If I if I go to Five Guys and I don't like it, I will never mention it on this podcast again, ever. But we have that bit. Yeah, we can't lose the bit. We should we should put that bit bit into a video. <laughs> never should. <laughs> Maybe see if we get sponsored by Five Guys first. To uh, wait, no, we should. I'm sure they'd love to sponsor that bit. No. <laughs> hey, Robert. Yeah. You want five guys? Uh, you, you did the joke wrong, man. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, because <laughs> no, you, you did. say, "Do you have want you five ever, guys?" No. And have Robert ever, says, "Have you ever been to a five guys?" Yeah, it's not you want five guys because that. Because if I say you want five guys, and Robert says no, but I've had five guys. No, it's, it's it's not as yeah. You're, you're like uh, Robert. Have got, you ever you been got to the a, wording wrong, Chris? Have you ever been? To I need to write this joke guys. down. <laughs> hey, Robert. Have you ever been to a five guys? No, but I've had five guys. And you should remove so, so, the word A. It's it's extraneous. This is joke writing 101, Chris. <laughs> the fewer the words, the better. Obviously, obviously I'm not, you know, I'm not on stand up. You ever been to Five Guys? You want to get some Five Guys? Ever eaten at Five Guys? All of those work. What's the difference when you want Five Guys? You want some Five Guys? <sighs> and then he says no, but I've had Five Guys. I think that still works. It, it's not as good though. It's I think you have good. to. I think you have to eat all, meat in order to understand that joke. It's it's all about. I wish I knew who most the of these. Wording. I wish I knew who most of these YouTube people were. Yeah, I don't know who most of the people are going to. Uh, I know Lisa Nova and Shay Carl. He was in South by Southwest. Shay Carl uh, goes to a lot of these things. Uh, Mystery Guitar Man was there too, and mm. and I Justine. I know. I know Film Cal. <laughs> Play was uh, live had mentioned like they retweeted something. Um, where someone had said that Freddie Wong should go, and then Freddie Wong retweeted back something about like needing a, a couch to crash on. So I'm wondering if Freddie <laughs> Wong's going to show up. Why don't, you offer, why don't you offer your couch up in the uh, your, your casting couch, Jason? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll offer the. Who's Freddie Wong? Freddie Wong. Oh, you don't know who Freddie Wong is? He's like the no. biggest YouTube guy right now. He was he was voted uh, the uh, the most powerful person on YouTube right now. Hey, I thought that was me. No, he's. He's more he's more powerful yeah. than Shane Dawson. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so at the moment. I mean, he he certainly rose up quicker, and yeah, he, he actually really makes is, good is he, material. Oh, really? Is he watchable? Yeah, oh, no, no. I, re- I really like Freddie Wong's stuff. He's good. Oh, good. He's he's actually really good at what he does. He's one of the few people making YouTube videos who is probably way too good for YouTube. Oh yeah, I, I'm surprised there. he's still I'm surprised he's still on YouTube and hasn't been picked up by. Something bigger. He, he might, I mean, he does professional work, I think. Um, or, See, I or thought he was freelance. focusing on this. Well, he, he is, but I, I, I also think he, he recently got some sort of deal or something. They, he, uh, it, nothing's been made official, but I, I think he got something. I mean, he did he, he did a video for Jimmy Kimmel. There, there was a, uh, yeah, on the Jimmy Kimmel show, they, they played something that he did specifically for the show. He's, he's done. Wow, he, that's he does, pretty cool. He does good work. Good he for does him. good work. Freddie Wong. Freddie Wong. <laughs> that would be cool if he he went to play those live because that that so many like the people so many of the people who are there are just video bloggers and that that it's like unless you really really like the person it's it's the most boring possible thing to watch. Uh-huh. You know he, that guy's got to be making a lot of money though. He can't just get a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also the thing where it's like you know if you if you get invited to an event like when when we uh, you know if if they're not gonna pay for your trip or whatever. So like you're not getting paid to do this. Yeah. So it's it's whether or not you want to blow a few hundred bucks to uh, 
to show up I, at an event and, and I do that for say clothes. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for pants. Yeah. yeah, that's your pants budget. I got some new pants last week, by the way, because uh, the 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 pants that I was wearing uh before uh, they ripped. Oh my no! Favorite, my my favorite pair I, of pants ripped. You figure if you're gonna spend if you're spending two hundred dollars on a pair of pants, they better last forever. What the hell is this? How does this happen, girl? Robert? Because I've never ripped a pair of pants. I've had a I've had them for a, a couple of jeans years in the last. Uh. But uh, no, I've had them for about a year and a half. Well, I, I wear I think I wear tighter pants than you though. You were, I mean, not like you were, really. You were skinny jeans. Say. I don't know what it was. Maybe I just don't take good care of my things. Yeah, <laughs> but, I think, but uh, I think that's it. Thing I, I think I love about guest pants, and you'll see when I'm there, is I think they they're kind of shiny. <laughs> they're shiny. You want people to to spot <laughs> you from a crowd? See, that, yeah, that's really mostly nice. what I don't want in pants. They're jeans. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, they're not like ridiculous. I don't want people shi- staring at my pants. It, it's kind of they're kind of uh, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say glittery, but it, it's <laughs> subtle. It's nice. No, it's your shorts that are glittery. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. You have glittery shirts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shorts. Yeah. Oh yeah, the ones I was. Yeah, I have. I have a few glittery shirts. <laughs> Looks like they like tinsel was weaved into them. A like Christmas tree tinsel. Yeah, that's how my pants are. You're just a you're just a shiny guy, Robert. I have jeans that have like silver, like silver shiny things going. I'm gonna bring those pants too. Robert I'm gonna, I'm gonna, is a I'm, lead singer in a glam rock band. I'm gonna dress. <laughs> I don't. I don't dress like an internet guy. No, no, no. You don't. Uh, you don't have a a, a t shirt with a funny nerd saying on it. <laughs> Nerds are cool. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't. I went to an art festival yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. How was that? It, it was way bigger than I expected it to be. Really? It was huge. There was like 150 tents set up. With, Is with it art. strictly art or was it like arts and crafts? It was all art. It's like all paintings, art. And paintings and sculptures? Yeah, paintings, and... sculptures, all that stuff. I, w- I was very, very pleased in the fact that there were very few paintings of egrets. <laughs> when you go <laughs> to an you, art you... festival in Florida, it's almost all just paintings of Florida birds. Did you pick up any artwork for your house? No, no, no. The, this artwork was like... This this art festival took place in Winter Park, which is the high end area of the, the Orlando area. All the paintings are a minimum of twenty thousand each. Not that much, but most of them were like you know six to twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, see, so, it, it gets to the point where it's like, do I really need this? <laughs> do I really need a twelve thousand dollar painting in my house? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a question I was asking myself. Yes, <laughs> I was debating whether to spend twelve thousand dollars on a painting or not. <laughs> Do I really need a twelve thousand dollars? Really need this. Just go to just go to uh, just go to Bed Bath and Beyond and pick up one of their prints for sixty bucks. Well, no, I don't. I didn't do that because I have paintings in my house. It's just, I get them off Etsy. Not, yeah, it's, it's, I like the crazy. paintings you have right now. You should. Uh, yeah, no, I, we should I like them post too. a picture it's, of that on the uh, the, the uh, Chaos Pony Facebook page. But they're they're not twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> they they look really nice though. They're, they're only ten thousand dollars. No, no, they're not. Not even eight thousand dollars. That you wouldn't spend a thousand dollars on a painting. Oh, yeah, what would you spend a thousand dollars on? A ball chair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. How I want to get one of those. Ball chair. Not too, because it's so expensive. So I hardly ever sit in it. It's it's the most. It's the stupidest thing I've ever bought, but I love it. It's it's. It, I, could, I made I made a promise to myself that as soon as I made a certain amount of money in a year. The, that the one thing that I would spend way too much money on would be the ball chair. That, that's what I did. I just want a nice TV. That's what I'm going to get. The the ball chair is my. You know, some people they're like, when I when I make a lot of money, I'm going to buy a Ferrari. I'm gonna, <laughs> You're just a ball chair. I'm going to buy a a Jaguar. I'm going to buy some sort of nice car. But me no, I, I wanted a ball chair. I really like modern furniture. <laughs> I like the ball chair. I'm going to get one too. Where are you Where are you going to put it, Robert? I'm gonna put it in my. Uh, it's gonna be my game chair where I play video games. I just say it, uh, it's probably not it? a great game chair. Oh yeah, but can't you get it with probably like not. speakers built in and, and stuff like that? And maybe that could... would be cool. Yeah, actually, they, you can get them with with speakers built in that you can yeah, hook up to an audio that'll system. That would be good for my ears. <laughs> Constant blaring. It's like surround sound within the ball. <laughs> My place is being robbed. 
The, the, <laughs> the ball chair is a weird audio effect where it actually cuts out most of the audio in the room. It's, I like it's, that. It's very strange acoustics inside the ball chair. It feels like you're in a separate room. In fact, the ball chair is called a room within a room. <laughs> Do you feel claustrophobic when you're in that room? I, I, wish, room? You could, yeah. I wish you could close it. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> the, 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 the pod chair. There's like little LED lights inside. You can see. I just, I, I just love that chair so much. You have it closed off to just pipe oxygen into it, and then you got your uh, hyperbolic chamber. I still haven't masturbated in it, but I, I will. Yep, he's promised that ever since ever since I got it. You know what's yeah. funny is is he, he probably will one day. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna walk you know, by it and you're gonna I'm see gonna... a huge stain on it. <laughs> and you're Robert. Yeah. yeah, you know I you know I'm always joking about it, but I think I'm actually gonna You're not it. gonna be able to help yourself, Rob. You're gonna walk by it and you're gonna sure. get in the mood and then you're gonna do it. I am. It's just gonna it's it's bound yeah. to happen. It's like, I just hope it's I'm like not right, there to see it. It's like right near Jason's room though, so I'm hoping he doesn't hear me. <laughs> do not whack off in my ball chair, Robert. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? There will, there will be an accident that will happen. Robert will, will walk Rob. too close to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a toaster. Robert wanders out there. Yeah. I'm going to accidentally fall into the pool with a toaster. <laughs> that, that, that'll be the thing, yeah. There'll be Robert in the pool with a toaster and an extension cord. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Why did he have a toaster next to the pool? I don't know, officer. <laughs> yeah, that'll be how Robert will go. In Jason's pool with a with a toaster. His pants still around his ankles from uh, <laughs> from mid whacking off with the ball chair. Robert had some strange fetishes. <laughs> There's a video. <laughs> Is that gonna be uh, our next uh, live action video? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, in Florida on Wednesday. That's four days from now. Yeah. Yeah. So the next episode that we record, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be there. We're gonna be recording this face to face. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do some some face 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 face. That's gonna yeah. be kind of. That's gonna be kind of awkward. Instead of instead of me sitting in a room by myself, we're actually all gonna be sitting there together. Yeah. 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 We'll have it's to like, have. Uh, we'll, have we'll, we'll probably have Jennifer on at some point. It's oh less, yeah. Uh, it'll be less uh, and editing. Nick. Yeah, man, we'll have a whole. Uh, yeah, we should have a whole crew on. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there for a week. I'm gonna shoot some videos. Go to playlist live for two days. Of course, some uh, record some chaos pony. Uh, masturbate in Jason's <laughs> ball chair. Have some five guys, and then have some five. Have five guys. <laughs> we'll have to go get some wings too. By the way, we should probably bring up the topic of the week. Yeah, yeah we should. What, what are we like? Forty minutes in? Yeah, this week. This week it's 1973 in art. Yeah, it's 1973 in art. Let's see. Uh, there was a uh, the death of Marat. That, that's a famous painting done in 19 in 1793. Um, yeah. A French sculptor created a terracotta figure of Benjamin Franklin. Oh, that sounds that sounds wonderful. Uh, the Venetian painter Francisco Guardi died. He's- these paintings are pretty old, huh? Yeah, yeah they're, they're very old. Are these uh, are these in museums? I, I would ass- I would assume these are in museums. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm reading and talking. Yes, uh, there's a uh, let's see. A famous engraver was born, Aaron Core. He was Irish. This is this is an exciting topic of the week. Yes. You can't forget about Boris uh, we should have Orlovsky. Been talking about this the whole time. A Russian sculptor. Mm. Did you, Jason? Now, when you went to your art festival in uh, Winter Park, did you see any of these paintings? No, I don't think so. Actually, I, I don't think I saw any paintings from 1793 in art. What kind of uh, now? Would you pay? Would you pay twelve thousand dollars for one of these paintings? I could probably sell one of these paintings for way more than twelve thousand dollars. So yes, maybe. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, that's, actually, like, that's actually good. Yeah. That's, yes, that's true. That, that's that's economic smarts right there. You're right. I just love we the smarts. title of this. 1793 in art. I just I just buy it and then play with it and then it's mess my, it up my by accident. My favorite Wikipedia article title now. 1793 in art. Is there like a is there like a It's dramatic in its simplicity. Art's not even capitalized. No. 1793, 1793. in art. Ah, good old Wikipedia. Okay, what are we going to talk about now? 
I played uh, I played Dream Phone with, twice last week. Done with that top Dream Phone? Yes. What is that? You've never That's played Dream Phone, Robert? No. Is that an app? <laughs> that <was> an app. <laughs> it's an actual board game. Guess oh, who really? likes you in this talking telephone oh, game? Oh yeah, yeah, I've played that. You have played Dream Phone? I have. Uh, yeah, we should a, we should play one. It's a game comes meant for, uh, um, I guess eleven year old girls. I, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I, I, I probably I think it, it focuses towards middle school. And I played it when I was twenty one. Yeah, now we I, play, I played it twice last week. Why? So you we we played it uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jennifer Jennifer got it to me uh, for my my birthday. Dream phone. Oh, she outdid me. <laughs> it was, did it was did you like it more than the uh, the mannequin? Well, I haven't used the mannequin for anything. So <laughs> put it in that put it in that little empty space by your uh, by your front door where the uh, rusted flowers are. No, the, ma- the mannequin's <laughs> not better than the rusted flowers. Sorry. All right, you gotta put it somewhere. Have you yeah, been so we, with we, it? we played Dream Phone. I, here's here's the most embarrassing thing about the fact that I played Dream Phone uh, twice last week. I won both times. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I was able to, to figure out which hot dude had a crush on me both times. And Jason, which hot dude had a crush on you both Zachary times? Both times. <laughs> <laughs> we thought there was something wrong with the game, so we, we booted it up again and uh, and 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 tried and guessed Zachary again, but it wasn't Zachary the third time. So, and I like how the game. I like how the game had it, it tried. It, it tried to go high tech compared yeah, to they, the last they changed one. Changed it to a cell phone from a from a standard like touchstone. <laughs> um, I mean, they have have the hot dude send you text messages, clues, and and stuff like that. But it's just impossible to figure out what they're saying. I was just with Zachary last week. <laughs> An <laughs> asshole. Yeah. No he wonder he's around. not accepting me on Facebook. A douche. See, I am. I am apparently really good at Dream Phone. Good. We should. We should play that. We should play that. Play that. Uh, on, on a on a live stream or something. We should do a whole Chaos Pony episode that's just us playing Dream Phone. <laughs> let's, do, let's, let's do that next week. What if that's what we do at Playlist Live? We bring Dream Phone to the booth and we just play Dream Phone. <laughs> that's a good idea. We'll, we'll bring, that'll be our thing now. We'll be known as the Dream Phone guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll create a new YouTube thing at the YouTube convention. Yeah. And then, then they, can, uh, they can slide us in at the, uh, the 5 p.m. slot so I can actually wake up for it. <laughs> Robert's going to be half asleep at the booth. <laughs> I'm going to look like shit. Oh, Chris. <laughs> yeah. I, I just realized something recently. What's that? I, I can't believe I don't know about this because who is it that was asking? It's, someone was asking me something about the Turks and why Greeks don't like the Turks. Oh, yeah. There's always been some sort of like uh, conflict between the two. Yes. And I, 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 I can't believe that I have never known about this. There was a Greek genocide. Really? <laughs> Committed by the Turks. Wow. Those damn Turks. See, I knew there was a reason why we didn't There was a Greek holocaust. <laughs> Between what is hundreds it, uh... of thousands of Greek people were just killed in, in an attempt to rid the world of the Greeks by the uh, the Ottoman Empire. This is right damn... after the First World War. Those damn or during, Turks. During World War One, and its aftermath. The government of the Ottoman Empire instigated a violent campaign against the Greek population of the empire. The campaign included massacres, forced deportations involving death marches, and summary expulsions. Several hundred thousand Ottoman Greeks died during this period. So there you go. We we, we figured it out. We figured it out. How I, long have we been? How long have we been Greek now? <laughs> well, I've been, I've been Greek for twenty six years. Yeah, Greek for twenty nine years, and uh, we're just now learning everything. But you know, it's funny because you always hear about oh, those stupid Turks, you know, and. and and everything and, and always you know, hear and, about yes yeah. <laughs> I'm <from here. laughs> those goddamn Turks <laughs> maybe we're born with that hatred of the uh, Turks I think the only person in, in our family who's ever spoken ill of the Turks was uh, Big Yaya because <laughs> she probably was the uh, well because she was born in 1900 so yeah. so yeah she would have been, so she, been she old was, enough to remember this she would have been old enough to hearing the tales of the death marches Man, <laughs> those Turks. Yep. So we, we solved that mystery. Well, let's move on to the delightful and the repugnant.
Who wants to go first this week? I don't care. Then Robert should go first. Robert, why don't you go first this week? All right. Like I said, I don't care. (laughs) What is your delightful? My delightful is 90s Tom Green. 90s Tom Green. I would agree with that. I agree with that, too. Have you seen any of his... uh, any of his uh, early Tom Green show clips, Jason? Yeah, it's like the prank shows, right? Yeah, like, but not not just his MTV stuff, but his, his stuff he did in Canada before he, he went to MTV. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen that stuff. I have a whole DVD uh, of every episode mm-hmm. from the stuff he did in Canada, and that stuff is brilliant. I have to say, I, I also like current Tom Green because of how wonderfully sad it is. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how... Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Is that your repugnant? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> but I actually, I actually, um, some guy who used to be friends with Tom Green, uh, back when Tom Green was, uh, mm-hmm. still in Canada and younger, uh, you know, he used to sneak in the movie theaters with Tom Green and stuff, uh, contacted me a couple of, uh, years ago. No, it was last year, whatever. Um, and he apparently used to know Tom Green. He sent me. All of these, like, rare, extremely rare old Tom Green episodes mm-hmm. from before Tom Green even had the Canada show. Oh, my it was God. Like, before he had the old Canada show. It was like was a like, high school show or something? It was uh, it was public access, but it wasn't... It was a public access before he had his Canada show. Because what happened is he had, a, like, a little public access show, and then he got a... Tom Green's got to be the only guy who ever had a public access show that went somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had a show in Canada, and then he had a show on MTV. But so I have like three or four hours of Tom Green that very few people can find now, and that makes me feel special. I have a I, I have a hour long Christmas special he did when he was like my age. Uh, it's basically just him in a room with a Christmas tree, uh, yelling at somebody who isn't really there for an hour, uh, and eventually he ends up shirtless, and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's. I gotta post that up if I can find it. Tom Green, uh, a hero to us all. And then Glenn I, Huckley. I like Tom Green. I think he's hilarious. Yeah, I used yeah, to have. Could... I remember Chris used to have uh, Tom Green posters in his room. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, had a, I had a Tom Green poster. That was. You know, it's funny because I discovered Tom Green. We were on vacation, and I just I didn't know anything about him. And we were at this hotel, and uh, we were just watching TV, and happened to be the Tom Green show came on. I was like, and it was like a marathon. I couldn't stop watching it. It was hilarious. Yeah. He was yeah, great. What, oh, it's, yeah. He was Do you think great. we can go on his show, his internet show? Maybe we can go on his internet show. We probably could. <laughs> We're if his internet show is still around in a month. The last time I heard he was having <laughs> trouble, was like, trouble, trouble funding it. Trouble funding that, an internet show. That he goes out of his house. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, uh, according to him, the show costs $10,000 a month to keep up. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but he's not getting that money back. No. In fact, I think that's why he started stand up because the, I think the show might have made him broke. Is he uh, the internet is show? He paying, I mean. Is he paying his guests? Like, how is he losing money on this? I don't know if he has he has guests sometimes. I, I don't really know how he does it now, but he, he pays like a crew. Uh, I guess he pays for the bandwidth and all of that. I, I don't know where all, where all the money's going. Wow! But he, he's not making. He doesn't. Have, he's been trying to get a sponsor for years, and it hasn't happened. <laughs> and then he had to go, uh, and then he had to go on a uh, do stand up, which I saw, and he was pretty good there. Is he pretty funny? Yeah, he's pretty funny. But what's, your mean, re- what's your repugnant? <laughs> my uh, my repugnant is uh, Tom Green now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, about it full circle. It's, there you go. It's <laughs> it's really depressing. Like he, it's like he, if you look at how he was in the '90s, he's nothing like he is now. Like he he wants to be really serious and mature. Now, I wonder if that's an act, though, and he's just going full... I hope it is, but I have a feeling that it's not. Full Andy Kaufman. I actually saw <laughs> a live feed of him doing his show that... Because usually when he does a live feed, he'll they mm. record it and then they post it on later. Yeah. But I saw something that they never posted up because it's basically... Him screaming at his crew because nothing's working. Because he's trying... Because <laughs> the Skype wasn't working. And he's, like, screaming on the top of his lungs... Like, not even saying anything, he's just screaming. And, like, it's real anger. Like, his face is red and everything. And he's uh, he's also getting drunk, too. 
He has a drink with him. That's another thing. He's like an alcoholic now. Yeah. Or something. Did his did his life like totally just did, did he see his his career just plummeting and so he's just taking it really bad or is well, he's it, got oh. an internet show now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's true. He did. He did have a like a really popular MTV show. He had an MTV show, a couple movies. He was married yeah. to Drew Barrymore. Oh, I forgot about that. Now, now he's got a now, he now he's got an internet show from his his living room. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I would like, be screaming too. <laughs> the internet. I love how the internet is where celebrities go to be born and to die. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that currently where Charlie Sheen's at right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love how Charlie Sheen went from a. Uh, TV star famous to 15 minutes of fame famous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good We're going to be talking about him for four months from now. <laughs> Christopher, what's your yeah, delightful? But, yeah, I, lo- I love how, like, I know that or even not, if I... Robert. <laughs> even, even if I do become mainstream successful, I know that eventually I'm just going to end up back on the internet when things go downhill. You'd be doing your, your clay people all over again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing stand-up. Well, Chris, what's your what's your delightful? My delightful Wait, hold on, is I'm not, I'm not done yet. <laughs> you still you still talking about Tom Green? <laughs> we gotta move the show along. There you go. Okay, moving along. I just I thought it'd be funny if I did that. It was it was funny to a to a degree. It was, it was a good joke. I yeah. give you a, a, a seven. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my delightful uh, was. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> Thanks, Nux. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh god I think it's the first time I called you that why did we explain that to him never again <laughs> my delightful was I went to uh, UCF they had a Saturday night movie uh, playing in front of the UCF arena on the outside on the big screen oh yeah how was that and uh, it was really cool it was really cool I'm definitely going to be going back to that mm-hmm. it's free it's free to go um, you basically just bring a chair they have free popcorn and cotton candy and they played Tangled last night the Disney uh, movie it was, and that's the first time I saw it and it was, it was that's actually a really good movie but mm-hmm. the whole experience was really nice uh, uh, it, it felt good outside um, cool. the weather was great I definitely recommend Jason yeah, uh, next next time I go obviously we can't go this Saturday but uh, next time I go you should definitely come along with me and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd um, like to go to one of those things I was I was yeah. really really worn out I, I just wanted to sleep oh yeah I bet yeah. yesterday Putting. Yeah, but it was it was really it was really good. Next, uh, th- well, this Saturday they're playing True Grit, but we won't be there. But uh, I think they're playing The Fighter um, mm. the the Saturday that was afterwards. A good movie. So yeah, next time I go, Jason, I'll let you know, and yeah. and uh, we'll definitely have to go. It was, it was really cool. I, I've never really gone to one of those. You always hear about those outdoor movies, and mm. you know, you bring your chair and a blanket, and you know, you always hear about them. But this is the first time I've actually gone. And it was it was actually really nice. So yeah. if we have any listeners that uh, that go <laughs> to UCF or in the Orlando area. I'll uh, I'll tweet out next time I'm going, and you know maybe one of my 350 followers will uh, <laughs> nice. will one hear about it. In Orlando, yeah, Which, someone's going uh, to Orlando. We're, we're just going to invite people everywhere we go now. Yes, yeah. we're going to invite. I'm people going to uh, yeah, hey guys. I'm going to Burger we demand King. Having a posse follow us. Yes, going to Burger on the, King. On, on paparazzi Parkway. following. <laughs> what's, what's your repugnant, Chris? My repugnant is, um, and Jason now. was the one that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My repugnant is, is something that Jason brought to my attention that I didn't realize, that uh, starting in May, AT&T is going to be putting data caps on internet usage for their DSL yeah, yeah, and Uverse customers. That is, uh, I am I am literally pissed off because of AT&T that. AT&T is the first uh, web uh, company in the U.S. to impose data limits on their home internet service. Wait, it is, what, is it is com- what does that mean? It's it means that if you uh, watch too many Netflix movies, you're going to be charged overage fees. Aww. For for DSL for DSL customers, you you have 150 gigabytes a month, and for UVerse you have 250 gigabytes, which might sound like a lot. And they even say, well, you know, it's only going to affect like the top two percent of, of users. But just the just the, the the principle of putting a cap on internet usage, yeah, I think. I mean, is, that's 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 is, pretty normal in the rest of the world. Except I think there's a reason why the the internet uh, the internet industry in the United States has become so huge, and and why. Internet video in the United States has become so huge it's because of the lack of, of data limits. It, it you do really you allowed the internet to yeah. to boom in this country. Hey, I'm yeah. going to be at the uh, the Verizon store if if any of you want to or li- <laughs> if any of you listening want to come with me. <laughs> we're going to show Verizon. And, if you want to come meet me. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. So if they, um, I'm guessing they're going to be doing this. So I will be. Uh, once this is imposed, I'll be canceling my AT and T 
uh, internet. I would service recommend and, everyone do the same because this this if this yeah. catches on, then it's you, you can imagine every single. Why would they want to do this up? after after the Verizon because people iPhone are thing. people are canceling their cable TV subscriptions and just yeah. watching videos online, and so AT and T wants to start a way to to block that from happening. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's totally ridiculous. It, it really pisses me off. Yeah. This is probably the re, the one repugnant that I actually feel like really pissed off about. <laughs> yeah. I feel pissed so, off about all my repugnance. I'm an angry guy. You're just an angry guy. This is the one that that has constantly made me angry. Mm. Well, my uh, my delightful this week is the uh, the BBC series Sherlock. Either of you seen this? No. no, but I've 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 heard of, I've heard uh, oh, I've heard good things about it. It is so good. It is. I was not expecting it to be. I, yeah, I've 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 heard good things, but still, it's it's a modern day Sherlock Holmes. It's like it's if Sherlock took place today. And mm-hmm. so I, I thought it was going to be crap, but it was amazing. It's I heard amazing. that they really really good. Like they do something different with the um, like. You, you actually see his thoughts, like they type out his thoughts or something like that? Yeah, or? his thoughts, you, they appear in words just around yeah. the room and, and, and such. And it's, it's a really interesting way of, of, of presenting the character. And, and he's, uh, Sherlock is great, Watson is great. The, the way they do it and modernize it is perfect. And that it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel weird. Like, it, it feels like this is just Sherlock Holmes. It doesn't feel like a, uh, like an out-of-place modernization at all. Can you see this online anywhere? No, no, yeah. They don't have it on. You can order Hulu. I don't. I don't think it's on Hulu. I don't. I don't know. Um, I I know you can get the DVDs on Amazon. Um, it's only they they only produced uh, three episodes, um, but each episode's an hour and a half long. Oh, I see. And so it's like uh, three movies basically, and the second series is starting later this year. Nice. But yeah, it was. It's 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 one of my favorite interpretations of uh, of Sherlock Holmes to date. Cool. Did you like it better than the uh, Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I actually like that movie. I, I like that I, movie too. I, I like the movie. I wasn't even like it's, saying that as like a punchline or no, anything. No, it, I, I like the Robert Downey Jr. movie. Uh, I, I thought that was a, that was a really good movie. I like the I, way I they did his it. thoughts in that one too. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was also good. But I, I like this one better. I like I like them. Oh yeah, the, I'll have the, the Sherlock I'll have better. Check it out then. That and Robot. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah. Superstar Reggie. My. <laughs> My repugnant this week is uh, Twitter ads. When people tweet advertisements. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Only only like one or two people that I follow uh, send these out. I, I think actually only one now. Are, are they like sponsored tweets? Yeah, someone will... Uh, so they'll be like, Hey guys, you should check out this new movie. It's going to be really great. Ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I haven't gotten any of that. No, it's, it's really annoying. Because it's like, you know, when you read tw- a Twitter stream, you're... It's like you know, uh, it's like having a friend talk to you or something. It's it's, it's really it, it it's 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 a weird sort of psychological guess, thing when when reading this stuff. And so when someone tweets an ad, it just infuriates me because it's like it's like you're you're amongst friends and you're like, hey, I want to go out to eat. Where where should we go? Go and then you know you're talking about where to eat and then one guy starts into an advertisement about how <laughs> awesome Subway is. We should go to Subway. We could get a new five dollar foot long for yeah. It's it just it's just annoying. Ad. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I can understand. I can understand <laughs> tweeting about ad a movie. At the end. <laughs> ad. <laughs> ad. They've got the new five dollar triple meat foot long ad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can understand going to Subway and saying, "Hey, just went to Subway. It was awesome," you know. But but to, to have like a, no, it's just a sponsor, sponsor it just tweet. annoys me. Ad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's move on to world news. Christopher, why don't you go first this week? I will go first this week. My story is, it's actually about Netflix. And Netflix is actually going to, they offered a deal to Kevin Spacey, and they're going to offer original content. Kevin Spacey is going to put out a show and called House of Cards. Oh, yeah, I heard and, about this. Yeah, it's going to be uh, original content on Netflix. And I kind of find it interesting that, um, you know, how, how far mm-hmm. Netflix has gone from just, you know, being a, a DVD you know, supplier to mm. uh, to go from to that to streaming to now offering an original um, original content. So it kind of uh, kind of makes me wonder, you know, where the, where the, where they go from here if they're gonna, you know, if it if you know it's gonna this is gonna be this the works future out well. of television. Yeah. Oh, it, it is or it isn't. Is 
Yeah, yeah, I, I think so, and I think that's I think that's why AT and T is is limiting their stupid internet. No. Go back to my repugnant, but but I I thought this was interesting to see, and I bet if this does well, I bet you'll see a lot more original content on on things like Netflix or or Amazon streaming services, and um, um, you know, even even you know YouTube, uh, you know, trying to capitalize on on providing original internet shows and stuff like that. So I, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of interested to see where this where this goes from here. Yeah, yeah, but, I'd like, uh, I'd yeah, like to see so stuff like this take off. I think the internet's a better medium for for this kind of oh, stuff. Most it's definitely, just gonna get the the ad model figured out. Right, right. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it should be interesting to see. I don't know what I mean. This is, I think it's uh, they're calling it. It's an hour long political drama mm-hmm. uh, starring Kevin Spacey called House of Cards, and I think they they have uh, Netflix ordered twenty six episodes of this program. So, and that that's and, the biggest part of this because people have done internet shows before, but they've never given them that many episodes to. Yeah, it's never been like a full. A full thing, yeah. Right. They, they seem to actually be taking this seriously, which is very strange for internet content. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. So it should be interesting to see where where it goes from here. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, um, you know this this turns into something bigger. Well, Robert, yeah. what's your what's your news story? My news story is um, the board of directors of the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers approved the domain .xxx for pornographic websites. Finally. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) About time. (laughs) They had repeatedly rejected Stuart Lawley's uh, application since 2000 under pressure from Christian groups and government unhappy, uh, governments unhappy with the spread of online porn. Lawley has pitched, Lawley has pitched the, uh, the, uh, the suffix as a way for parents to more easily block access to the content. Now, why would anyone who's against the spread of internet porn be against this? Because it's yeah, just saying, you know, we'll, we'll, right. come, we'll make it easier who, to recognize when you go to a porn well, who's, site. Who's against, who's against this? Is, are there people that are actually against this? There's people who are against any legislation that involves pornography. Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. So, okay, so, so people are against it because we're actually trying to regulate the porn industry, or... No, because we're we're passing any laws that are favorable towards the porn industry. Yeah, but see, it, it, it's not only favorable towards the porn industry, but well, yeah, yeah. as you can see, the the logic behind this. But there there are people who. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, think about it, if you're a parent and you want to, and you want to, yeah, you want to block porn sites. All you have to do is just block the extension dot xxx, and there you, go. there you go. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be ways around it, but I mean, there are always ways around it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like not getting married. <laughs> what does not getting married have to do with uh is uh does jennifer ever block block your uh block you from your websites yeah she she put on uh she put on uh internet <laughs> nanny, nanny in your... net nanny that's what it's called yeah she put on net nanny on, on my uh, computer so uh, i can't see porn oh no i don't need to, i don't need to see porn you don't need to see porn when you're married yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> you always, <laughs> you're saying that because you know Jennifer's gonna listen to this. I don't need porn. All I need is all I need is my Jennifer. There are there are people that I personally know that listen to this podcast. <laughs> like I, I'm not really into porn. I, I don't really, I don't really think about anybody else. Porn is for dirt bags. <laughs> anyway, here's my news story. Physicists investigate lower dimensions of the universe. You in space. Several speculative <laughs> theories in physics involve extra dimensions beyond our well-known four, which are broken down into three dimensions of space and one of time. Some theories have suggested 5, 10, 26 or more with the extra spatial dimensions hiding within our observable three dimensions. One thing that all of these extra dimensions have in common is that none have ever been experimentally detected. They are all mathematical predictions. Uh, more recently, physicists have been theorizing the possibility of lower dimension, dimensional, no, wait. Dimensionality? Dimension, yes, dimensionality. That I don't know why I was having such trouble with that word. <laughs> I thought it was dimensionality, which, <laughs> so I was trying to pronounce that, which didn't work. <laughs> In which the universe has only one or two, or no, no, has only, yeah, two or even one spatial dimension. Basically, they're they're suggesting yeah, that at the beginning of the universe, at, um, there may have been only one or two dimensions, and that the third dimension formed later, and then the fourth dimension after that. So, what do you what do you think about th- what do you think about these theories? Well, they're all uh, as far as I know, they're all still based on on mathematical principles. 
uh, the the main problem with a lot of this stuff is is forming some sort of experimentation or or some sort of uh, um, predictability with these theories to prove that they're actually correct because they might work like string theory which which works elegantly in mathematical principles is still untestable oh my god hey jason if you scroll down is that video on yours that looks like nick with curly hair holy crap huh scroll down in the article is there is there a, a video on the right side no oh, yeah, it does that looks do you see like that nick. robert there's nick with a perm <laughs> holy crap I don't, uh... The I video don't, on the the article that you posted. I, d I don't see it. Um, I might have... It might be ad-blocked. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's sponsored by Google. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like my brother. And, uh, we holy... probably shouldn't be talking about this this long because our listeners can't see this, so it's not really that yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I just... I, I totally had to take a double take on that one. Just type, physicists investigate lower dimensions of the universe... Should we? Shouldn't? Yeah, why don't we not, put a? I'll, a I'll list start of these. putting the ads in the. I mean the yeah. links in the. Yeah. Right, in the <laughs> that looks like the egg. That that does look like Nick uh, with, with a perm. So, uh, can you explain that space stuff again, Jason? I was checking my cell phone. <laughs> what? Here's here's the thing. Here's no, the thing that, that I string theory stuff. Basically, everything you said before uh, before Chris noticed Nick. <laughs> Nick the I'm going to re-explain it for you because we we have people listening to this show who have actually heard it and were paying attention. Oh, I was I was texting somebody. Just okay. Why can't why what can't a... why can't maybe I want to focus on like time travel? Why I want to I don't figure out how to go back in time. <laughs> we got to stop all this science stuff and just focus on science of time travel. Yeah, that's all I want. We got to put all of our resources into time travel. I think that'll be more uh, beneficial to us. Yeah. We start changing. We start changing history for the better, uh, until until the bad guy goes. Till until Biff goes back, and uh, <laughs> we're only going to get Biffs going back. <laughs> that, that's who Hitler was. Hitler was a time traveler. Yeah, uh, he's from the future. We only got four years. Well, that was the uh, that was world news. Robert, do you have a weekly vague Facebook status of the week? Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. This is probably the last one, too, for a while. Or ever again. Uh, today's weekly vague Facebook status of the week is... Ugh. That's a good one. <laughs> that is good. That's a good one. Any, any, uh, any, any, uh, any caught fish in the bait there? Somebody asked what's wrong. <laughs> stop! You and, know, uh, three people, these people need to stop. Three people like the comment. <laughs> well, there you go. Robert's weekly vague Facebook status of the week. Probably the last one. Oh, I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to give Jim Ether another plug. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that tweet that you put out. Yeah, he's got he's got a Kickstarter running to uh, to help him continue painting. Anyone should go. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes. You, you should go to his Kickstarter and and, uh, and donate some money. Get 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 some art. Get some, some fabulous art from from Jim Ether. He's uh he's he's trying to raise three thousand dollars. He's raised two thousand four hundred and five so far. Good. So he's doing good, good but it. he's only got he's got five days to go, and if he doesn't reach three thousand dollars, then he gets none of that money. Ah. I like how, like, you the should, more you uh, donate, you can pers you can have like a, he'll send you a personalized. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The more you donate, the, the the more elaborate the art thing you'll get. Does he listen to the show? Uh, I have no idea. I, I don't think so. I think he, yeah, I think he might donate, because he he thanked me for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he thanked me for for uh, plugging his last. Uh, well, we had paintings. it in the show notes. So and and I I think every once in a while there's there's people who go to his videos and mention I think that that they came from. Yeah, from, from one of our links. This guy is such a unique artist in that there's so few people like there, there's a lot of artists who I think have uh, way way more uh, technical skill in that they can reproduce things picture perfect and it's amazing. But this guy, this guy has just a singular unique vision that I've never seen with yeah. with anywhere else. Where the the stuff that he makes, you will never see anyone else paint anything like it ever. Yeah. I want him to do a, a, a should, portrait uh, of, of me. <laughs> he, he did. He did one of Robert eating yeah, chicken I want, wings. Yeah, I want one of me now. You you can. You can. I mean, uh, this is only just, ten bucks. Yeah, and he'll he'll uh, yeah, he's got the ten dollar mystery paintings. 
that, that yeah. you can order and, and ask him to do something. But well, I don't. I don't want it to be a mystery. I want it to be. I, I want to tell him what I want to paint. <laughs> well, well, here yeah, you go. He, if you if you donate on the uh, the he does request too. Yeah, if you donate on the Kickstarter too, uh, like for fifteen dollars, he'll do a four by six uh, canvas board of anything you want, or he can surprise you. Uh, Twenty bucks. It's a five by seven on canvas board. I'm gonna uh, help him out, and and so on, and so on. You should uh, you should check out his uh, YouTube too. He's he's been uploading a lot of stuff recently. Yeah, I'm glad I, I like his YouTube. Videos. I, I'm glad to see he re, he re-uploaded the uh, poem time episodes. I love those. Yeah, those are those are pretty great. I'm I'm so should glad you, he put those back up. You should, if you uh, like poem time, you, you should get his uh his movie Onward to Calgary. Oh yeah, it's a feature length film based on the poem time guy. Well, there you go. It's uh oh yeah his YouTube is YouTube dot com slash Jim Ether. It's just his name. Mm-hmm. By the way, it's easy to remember. His website is Parazark, which is not you know, as easy to remember. And he has <laughs> P E R I. He releases art videos too. I've been keeping up with him since uh since uh my my Newgrounds days. Yep. When he was uploading animations to the Newgrounds. Yeah, I, I first I first saw Lomo. I got a comment a video from... of his and it blew my mind, and I I started watching all of his stuff. Yeah. I got a comment from David Firth the other day. Oh, really? Which was kind of random, because I, th- I thought he died. I, I didn't know <laughs> what? what happened to him. <laughs> I mean, you thought he died? No, I mean, I knew he was around, but I, I didn't know he... Uh... He, he keep, he's still making stuff. Because I, I had talked to him in the past. Well, I just meant, like, I, I didn't think he... Uh... I didn't think he still kept up with my stuff, but I knew, I knew we used to... I knew we talked a few times a few years ago, and then out of nowhere he left me a comment about uh, how it looks like I got a new camera. Which I did. Yeah. He noticed that the uh, the quality of my my newer videos are lower depth of field. That's another guy I really like, and in fact, he did, he did an animated sequence in uh, Jim Jim Ether's movie yeah. Over to Calgary. It all comes back. <laughs> it all comes back. Yeah, yeah. And I've been talking to Ego Raptor too. Who? Ego Raptor. I I don't know that guy. He's from uh, he's a big Newgrounds guy. I should I should probably check. I I, I haven't been keeping up with Newgrounds. Me me neither. I, That's what. <laughs> Actually, I, I knew, I knew, I, I did know David Firth had a a YouTube channel. I just what I meant is that I didn't know well, he, he does a lot of. I, he he did I this didn't... Uh, this this just like live action documentary stuff that was really interesting. Oh, really? And, and weird. He's he's done he's done so many things that just and they're all so good. It it makes me feel like an idiot <laughs> just, just the, the crap that I make and, <laughs> I'm so bored <laughs> yeah and then this guy comes out with just genius after genius thing he's <laughs> alien in the house <laughs> wait not alien animal oh yeah I got a, got a new video out of the animal <laughs> oh yeah yeah goddamn animal now it's that's pretty funny <laughs> I like all the South Park references yeah you know that that, that, that that's something that uh it's always whenever I release anything, there's always people mentioning something that it, it reminds them of, and and it's always it's always whatever the more more popular thing is, not what the le- less popular thing is. Like, like essentially, the, the characters in the uh, the animal sound exactly like the clumps from the Nutty Professor. Oh yeah, but there's and only he... like one or two people who mention that, and everyone else mentions South Park. But yeah, it's it's a uh, South Park did it. it it's a pr- <laughs> exactly yeah. It's 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 not an original thing. It's it's basically just fat Southerners, and they're, and they're monsters too. Come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah, people. what are they? What the hell are they? <laughs> I don't know. I just drew whatever. <laughs> Is it email time? No, it's order of the order of the oh, pony oh. update time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we yeah. got to get to this week's order of the pony update. Did the music play yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. I was I was thinking about whether I should have made that the transition, but no, I think I'm going to do it right now. Now it's time for the Order of the Pony <laughs> update. <laughs> the Order is now... Uh, okay, I got... This one's kind of long, actually. It's funny, because I know you're not going to edit that out. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, The Order sent me this to read. Uh, The Order is now able to make public a small segment of the Earth's schedule for the next thousand years. Uh, Here are some highlights of what we have to look forward to. In in March of 2014, the world will come dangerously close to running out of vanilla pudding. In the summer of 2045, the county of Stockholm in Sweden will momentarily vanish and then reappear. 
with the only change being that everyone in that area suddenly knows the lyrics to the 1926 Ethel Waters hit Dinah. In 2191, the Death Spiders will be released upon the world. In 2193, the Death Spiders will have enslaved all of humanity. In 2194, the Death Spiders will suffer a setback when a rogue human colony develops a deadly virus that only targets Death Spiders. And in 2197, the Death Spiders will have all died out, freeing humanity at last. I like Death Spiders. In the winter... It's in, a shame we're going to miss that. Yeah. In, in the winter, well, we don't know. Uh, augmented humanity. There's nothing in here about the uh, life expectancy of humans for our age. So we, we might be around for all this. Yeah. In the winter so. of 2410, the human colony on the moon will wage war with the Earth for their independence. In the spring of 2411, the Earth-Moon War will come to a sudden halt when it's discovered that the Death Spiders have returned, and the Earth and the Moon forces will join together to defeat them once and for all. <laughs> By 2766, every human in existence will be named Ull. That's U-L-L-L. Uh, and finally, the last uh, last highlight it. we have is uh, on November 3rd, 2988. It will be slightly warmer than usual, and most people will stay in that day. So that's, that's good to know. That's that's a little a little <laughs> sneak peek at the Earth's schedule for the next thousand years. We got a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Well, that that's that's this week's Order of the Pony update. Now we should move on to email. We're we're running a little over this this episode. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We might as well go 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 all at it. <laughs> yeah. Go all over. 5 hours. Oh my god. We can probably record a 5-hour podcast when you're down. We'll just we'll just, we'll <laughs> we just leave it on. So much so much for uh, doing any of the uh, any of the videos that we're going to do. <laughs> we'll just carry around the microphone all day, do a 24-hour <laughs> podcast. Let's do I want to do an on-location podcast like a Louis or Maria's. <laughs> we should do that. I just want to go to Louis. We've been to Louis and Maria's so many times in the last two weeks. I, I can't get enough of it. I want to go awesome. there. I want to go there when I'm there. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, you gotta we'll take me to the Greek that. restaurant. See, the too. problem with doing a podcast at a restaurant is that we're going to be spending most of the time chewing. Well, we cut that part out. Yeah, I'm going to spend another seven hours fixing the audio for something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the first email this week. Uh, let's see. The first email is from Miles. He says, I was wondering if you guys ever get recognized when you're out in public. I would also like to know if you have any crazy fan stories. Uh, I get recognized uh, every couple months. We answered like something like this before, didn't we? I think uh, so, because I, I, no? I only got recognized once that I, that I know of, anyway. Maybe we read this one before. I don't think so. Are you deleting them after we read them? Yeah. I don't remember that one. Hmm. So, so Robert, you get recognized every couple months or so. Every every couple months, I get I get recognized at mostly at malls because there's a lot of people there. So I guess there's a higher chance of my a fan being there that'll notice me. So it's a yeah. lot of malls, movie theaters. Um, my face isn't in enough stuff. Yeah, people don't really recognize. If me. it was, you'd be recognized all the time. I don't know if 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 my face isn't enough stuff because I only got recognized the one time, and I go to I go to place I go to Disney World a lot, which has a huge yeah. chunk of the population from all over the world there and um and yeah I'm, I'm out a lot and i was only recognized one time at the uh the uh, zoo in north carolina we got an email from all, uh, daniel we didn't answer the silly we didn't answer the fan Ow. story yeah, yeah oh, any crazy fan stories uh it's not really that crazy i remember when i when i went to go see i saw dark the dark yeah, night yeah. on opening night and uh there was a guy there dressed as the joker and he sat next to me <laughs> and he recognized me so I had to sit through this whole movie while he sat there ant- uh, asking me questions <laughs> about uh, how I make my movies, and, and he there kept on go. making me do voices. Did he do the Joker laugh? No. <laughs> That's the Joker no. laugh? I don't know, is it? <laughs> it's like the Halloween pumpkin laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a Joker laugh. I don't know. Yeah, so I had to sit next, sit next to this fan while I tried to enjoy the Dark Knight for the first time. <laughs> How uncomfortable were you? Yeah, it was. It was kind did of. You that, did you have that? Did you have that armrest uh, issue with you know? How do you, you know? How are you supposed to? You know? Did you take over the whole armrest or? No, I just I I tried to keep away from. <laughs> anyway, the next email is from Daniel or Danielle. I think it's Daniel. Hey, order of the pony. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know the Knox Church in Christchurch, New Zealand, was destroyed in the earthquake. 
on 22nd of February. Oh, no. That's terrible. Yeah, it was the, the only church in the world named Knox, so. <laughs> really? I guess. Robert, you're going to you're gonna have to rebuild now. This guy. There's, everything, almost, there's a lot of... A lot of things named Knox, and I always I always get emails about it. Yep. Every time somebody says something that says Knox, there's a Knox City somewhere in Texas, or there's a Knox Street in San Marcos. Well, there's actually a Knox Presbyterian Church in Cincinnati, Ohio. There's a Fort Knox. Yeah, well, then there you go. There's another one. We still we should, got it. We, we still got a Knox Church. We should we should go film yeah. uh, do a, a podcast at the uh, Knox Church. Let's not do that. <laughs> Next email from, from have, Marcus. Have you ever been to Fort Knox? Uh, 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 Marcus uh. says, I noticed you guys talk a lot about food in the show. I was wondering oh, what your yeah. guys' favorite foods are and why. <laughs> this question. And he says it also completely unrelated. I thought Trapped in the Garage was hysterical. So. Oh, look at that. I like all I'm of fan. Jason's things. That's just the one that I liked at least. So, yeah, what's your, what's your favorite foods, guys? Uh, well, you know what my... You know what mine is? Yeah, chicken wings. Yeah. Chris? Recently, I've... Recently... <laughs> buffalo I've liked wings. the Bolognese. Not just chicken wings, except Bolognese, buffalo. Bolognese, yeah. Bolognese, which is actually, I guess, pronounced... Uh, Bolognese. Bol- yeah, which, Bolognese. That's the way you which, uh, just pronounce it. I also yeah, like burritos. Yeah, no. But uh, I, I do like chicken wings, too. Chicken wings are awesome. Anything that gives you the shits, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that, that that leaves you in the bathroom for five hours after eating it. <laughs> I like that. I like I like a lot of food. I like pasta. I like uh Yeah, pasta's pasta's you like, uh, good. You like ribeye? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Filet mignon. No, and, uh, Mama Millie's makes this this wonderful thing called Mama's plate, which is a bunch of uh of vegetables. <laughs> we should go to Mama Millie's for the podcast. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. I I need to bring you to Mama Millie's. You you would actually probably like the food there. Yeah, yeah it, it is. Chicken. It is really good. Uh, we got an email from Austin. He says, "Hello, Chris, Jason, and Robert. I was wondering what was the reason you guys started this podcast. We've answered that before. We were ordered by the order. Uh, and do you have any favorite podcasts of your own? If you recommend any, uh, my friend Dom Fira. I haven't listened to it yet, but uh, my uh, Dom Fira has a podcast called uh, Doom to Be Awesome. I, I, I don't I, know if I, it's any good. I, I'm, I'm listening to it because I like I like Dom." But uh, I think they need to figure out the audio quality. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the uh, recording over Skype on a, on a laptop microphone doesn't uh, doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> I just just started listening to the Face Rocker podcast. That's that's good. With, uh, that's the that's Freddie Freddie Wong's, uh, Freddie Wong's Freddie Wong's podcast. I, I listen to a bunch of podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of uh, science podcasts actually. See, I watch a yeah. lot of podcasts. I, I do the video podcast. There's a, there's a great like uh, like, uh, there's a great podcast like called uh, uh, Monster Talk, which is interesting. Uh, it's, it's, Monster it, Talk. It's it's basically the uh, uh, people to- talking in a scientific manner about uh, uh, monsters like the chupacabra and and all that stuff as as to what the the reasons behind the sightings are. There's I, I listen to uh, Chaos Pony. That that's that one's okay. <laughs> that's an awesome podcast. <laughs> uh, this week in am science, I the only one that um, am I the only one that that watches podcasts here? Yeah, I don't. I don't watch video podcasts. I, I well, Kevin Smith. He has a podcast. Not I watched Kevin a few Smith. of the uh, of Adam Carolla's podcasts. Does he do video? I thought he did audio. He did audio, but I, I don't know. I found some. Uh, am I talking about Kevin Smith? It's, it's not Kevin Smith. Who am I? Who am I thinking of? Kevin Smith doesn't have a pod. Oh yeah, no, Kevin Smith has a podcast. I don't watch that podcast though. <laughs> I listen to that podcast. Who, who's the <laughs> Who's the guy with the video podcast? I showed you some of his stuff. Oh, Kevin Pollack. Yeah, Kevin Pollack, there you go. Yeah, I listened to two podcasts by a guy named Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Pollack Chat Show. That, that one's really, really good. That's the only podcast I, I, I watch. I also uh, listen to the Nerdist podcast. That one's really good. Um, Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, uh, For Good Reason, Skepticality, uh, Geologic Podcast. I listen to a yeah, lot mine, of podcasts. See, my mine are the video. Like, I like Dignation. I like Film Riot. Uh, I like... Uh, Totally rad show. Mostly a revision three stuff is is what I usually follow because I have a little bit of time to to do the uh, video podcast. Yeah. I next, won't, I won't say where, but next email. Uh, hey guys, uh, this is from Laura. I've been a huge fan uh, for years. I only have one question for you: uh, Do you believe in unicorns and their magical powers? No, that's ridiculous. Oh come on. <laughs> 
Do you think do you think a unicorn ever existed at one point in, in time? No. Is there any is there any uh <laughs> I don't think there's any f- fossil evidence for unicorns now. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is there is a uh, a goat that has a, a single horn, I think, that looks kind of like a unicorn. They think that's where the, the unicorn mythos came from. Oh, there you go. Uh, from Darren, you guys are great and provide me with plenty of chuckles throughout my week. Uh, I wanted to know how you make money for cameras, equipment, and such. How much do you make? I've heard YouTube partnership is basically only good for pizza money. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and hail the pony. All hail the be, pony, even though he's a would, creepy asshole. That would be an expensive pizza. That would be an expensive pizza. Uh, YouTube only pays for pizza money if you have, like, a thousand viewers or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It, 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 when, you, when you have, like, a really high level of, uh, of, of viewership, then it, it starts paying pretty well. Yeah, you get, it's 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 basically there's like a they run ads and it averages out to a certain amount per thousand views you get, and uh, and so the more views you get, the higher you, the more you get paid. Yeah, like I said, a few episodes. I've never had a real job. All 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 the money I make, about probably about seventy percent of the money I make is from YouTube income, and then the rest is DVD sales and all that. Yeah, so I mean, it's 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 enough to be an actual job. It's it's enough to make a living. It's gonna be my new uh, my new job full time. It's enough yeah. to go to Florida every two months. Yeah, I mean the the my YouTube channel is making enough to for for me and for Chris. So <laughs> for me to, for me to leave a job at the at the space center. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it's you know once you have a high enough level of, of viewership, it, it it becomes enough. Uh, yeah. Email from Stephen. Hey, Chaos Pony, big fan. I was wondering what is your favorite '80s movie. Um. That's a train. <laughs> that's a train. Is that the movie? <laughs> uh, wow, I thought that that's was actually train. around my house. <laughs> I'm saying uh, <laughs> like an '80s movie. That's a train. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. That's one. That's good. Ghostbusters. That's Ghostbusters. I don't know. I can't Flight, choose one. Uh, oh, ET is good. Or Flight of the Navigator. I like those two. Uh, I like Back a lot to of the them. Future is awesome. What about Indiana Jones? Was that, that was eighties or nineties? That was eighties. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that was. I like right. I like those. Those are really good. I can't choose one. So it's basically yeah, all, this, too many. all this Spielberg stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made some good stuff back in back in the day. He still makes good stuff. Anyway, that's probably all we have time to get to this week. Yeah, yeah. I got to run. Yeah. Well, this this has been a, a long show. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> what, what are you gonna do later today, Jason? Uh, well, I'm gonna eat now. I'm I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna go to. I'm actually gonna go to Freebirds. I'm gonna get a burrito. Yeah, been crazy. Anybody burrito. wants to go meet? Well, this this will come out after you've been there, so never mind. <laughs> you should I'm tweet a, it well, out. I'm at burritos every other day, so just go to the go to the Freebirds in San Antonio and just hang out there every day. And, <laughs> and just hope I walk by. But yeah, come to <laughs> Of course, now I'm going to uh, Florida on Wednesday, so you're gonna be you're gonna be standing there for no reason. Bad timing. Yeah, but come come see us in Orlando. Playlist yes, live. come see us in Orlando. Playlist Live, March 26th through the 27th. Uh, we will be tweeting out some sort of uh, side event that we'll be at for free. And we'll do a bunch of special Chaos Pony episodes while Robert's down. Oh, yes. Just and, keep, uh, your, uh, keep your eyes on the Twitter. And check. Uh, we might even do a live stream. So uh, Yeah, we'll probably yeah. do some live stuff while he's down. So keep, so keep watching me and Jason's Twitter uh, this week. Yeah, don't, don't look at mine. and Because uh, that's usually where... <laughs> that's, well, I mean, any of our Twitters, that's usually where we post... That we're doing a live stream. Yeah. Yeah. I think that covers everything we wanted to talk about. Yep, well. I think so. Good episode. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Good episode. Yes, thank you for tuning in. Thumbs up. Yep. And Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We will see you all next week. See you next week, guys. The the episode might be a little late late next week, but but it will... It'll it'll be there. Oh, yeah, because we we usually record this on 2 o'clock Sundays, and we're going to be at Playlist Live that time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have to figure out uh, what we're going to do. Join the Facebook. The Facebook. Yes, the Facebook. Peace! Yo. <laughs> Bye. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderoftheponey at gmail.com. <laughs>
Can <laughs> we? I'm not even recording. <laughs> you don't have to start uploading. You don't have to be. I'm, I'm recording on this end. Can we start over? <laughs> it doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> can we start over? <laughs> can yeah. we start over? Can we? Start can, can we start over, Robert? Robert, can we start over? Can All right, I'm done. Jason? Can we start over? Can we start over? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat something. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. Jason. What? Jason. What? What, Chris? Do you want to go? Do you want to go get some Five Guys? <laughs> you did it wrong again. <laughs> God damn it! I need to write this on a note card or something. <laughs>